Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we're looking at the MLB Price Picks plays for Tuesday, August 30th. In this one, we're looking at some pitcher strikeout props. Tough day yesterday. Uh, pitchers really didn't produce and you know, had a lot of strikeout props that fell short. Today, I got some lower strikeout props. Hopefully, these guys can get us there. But let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll post the DFS picks on Twitter later in the day for the 12 gamer tonight but today first prop i want to go with is brady singer who's at five strikeouts he's uh over his last 10 11 starts he's been hitting this number consistently so it's four straight games with six or more strikeouts it's six of his last seven games and a couple he had uh, over 10 strikeouts there make that seven of his last eight games he had a push there as well another one that he hit so either he's been pushing at the end of june beginning of july he had a lot of five strikeout games but basically since the beginning of june june 8th uh his record is eight two and four eight hits two misses and four pushes and he's been going deeper into games six seven innings uh he hasn't gone under six innings since uh beginning of july so I do like Brady Singer. He's also had a lot of experience against the White Sox. If we just look at his matchups against them, he hit a couple times already this season against them. He had a six strikeout game most recently, a three strikeout game, a nine strikeout game, and then he only threw two innings on the 26th. Doesn't count, but he did have two Ks in those two innings. So probably was on pace to at least push, if not hit, the five strikeouts. And then he had a six, seven, five. So also pretty solid numbers in terms of his record against the White Sox. So that's the first one I'm going with. Second one is Logan Webb over four strikeouts. Now he's been a bit all over the place with his strikeouts recently. He had a six strikeout game, zero strikeouts against the Diamondbacks, nine against the Pirates, five. So three, he's three and one in his last four games. He's three and two in his last five, four and six in his last six games in terms of hitting. Though it's kind of been like uh, he had a couple two strikeout games in July also, which was surprising. Uh, he had two Ks against the Padres, but then he also had like a seven strikeout game against them earlier this year. So we'll see with him. But normally he's at like four and a half or five on his prop. So four is a pretty good number. And he's also uh, pitching at home. And at home, his ERA this year has uh, been really good. 2.88 is almost one full run lower than it is on the road. He's only given up two home runs at home. And the strikeout rate's definitely a lot higher, 73 and 84. In 84 innings compared to only 57 and 75 on the road. So another reason why I hopefully can get at least four, if not five, Ks for us today. So those are two pretty low ones. A third one is Max Freed, more than five Ks. Now, I think uh, this number is also very low for the, the upside that Freed has shown at times. And he's getting a good matchup. They are heavily favored, so you can go with their fantasy or his fantasy instead. Uh, but looking at his game log... Uh, seven, six, five, five, eight. So make that five straight games with at least five strikeouts. Six of his last seven games with at least five strikeouts. Six of eight, six of nine, seven of ten, eight of eleven, nine of twelve. You know, it can keep going on. Ten of thirteen in his last thirteen starts of at least five strikeouts, and uh, the matchup is against the against the Colorado Rockies. They're at home. In Atlanta, so he's not going in cores and in, in that tough environment. But there are some strikeouts in this lineup as well. You got a bunch of guys north of 20%, couple guys at right at 30 with Crone and Montero and Bernard at the bottom there. Um, so yeah, he's a little bit better striking out lefties as you'd expect for a lefty. Let's see in his last 30 days how that number has been. Yeah, still better striking out lefties, but we have seen. You're going to see a lot of righties in this lineup. Still think Freed can get you at least five strikeouts, if not more. If you look back at last year, his numbers were pretty similar. Or pretty similar at strikeouts against both sides of the plate, 25.7 compared to 23. Uh, so hopefully, I, mean, I feel good that he will be at least able to hit this number. Another one is George Kirby, over five and a half strikeouts. This man set the strike record with 24 straight strikes in his last start. Uh, and he's been good with the strikeouts. He has seven or more strikeouts in four out of his last five games. Gets a great matchup against Detroit, 
with this uh, dreadful lineup. Pull up their lineup stats on plate IQ here. See that he gets a good matchup on the other side. What? I had it set to last season. This year, Kirby, 24.9% strikeout rate. Uh, starts to see more strikeouts in this Detroit lineup. 30% for the leadoff hitter. Bottom of the order, 30 for Badu's back. And Bar Barnhart's 27. And Candelario's 25. And Baez strikes out a bunch. So, love Kirby. He's been really good recently with his strikeouts. Uh, lots of lefties in this lineup. 28 0.4% strikeout rate for him this year against lefties, and he should be looking at one, two, three, four, five, seven, if not eight lefties in the lineup. Be great news for Kirby. So we really love that number at five and a half. Those would be my favorite four in terms of the lower ones. Uh, top, not not too many stud pitchers today. You have Nola, who you could go with at six and a half, or Blake Snell. Uh, but that's pretty much it. First inning nerfies. It's a couple later games I'd consider. You could look at Singer and Giolito, but Giolito sometimes ruins that. Or maybe the Braves because you're just worried about them against Urania, but that could be more than enough. Um, just having one inning against him to do some damage. But in terms of fantasy score props, you also have McClanahan going up against the Marlins. That one is a early start at 640. But I feel pretty good just going with these four strikeout props. I don't know if I want to push anything else. In terms of the hitter props, I do like the Braves bats today. So you can look at Acuna or Riley over fantasy against Urena or over bases. Uh, but for at right now, these are the four that I'm going with. Over 5Ks, Brady Singer over four strikeouts. Logan Webb over five strikeouts, Max Free and over five and a half strikeouts for George Kirby. Best of luck today. And I will see you all next time.